Hey guys, um, man, just uh, hope everybody's doing good. Um, wanted to just kind of jump on here uh, real quick and um, kind of got to spare the moment taking off and do a little deer hunting this evening. Um, yes, it's November and this is the first trip into um, the woods. I uh, have had a very interesting year um, this year when it comes to the hunting aspect of what we do in the outdoors. Um, generally speaking, I do a lot of hunting. Um, as you can tell by a lot of our content so far, we've done a lot of riding this year. Um, and part of that is just we've been wound up in it. The weather's been great. But also I lost uh, some property that I had set up uh, for hunting and, and was gonna be able to just kind of move along with that. So I got a little discouraged and just been having trouble finding some land. Uh, do have some, I think, hopefully it's gonna work out for us, probably be more next season. Um, so just gonna try to do a little bit of hunting this year. So I'm heading out this evening and I'm going over to a piece of public land not too far from our house. And I'm just gonna hike back to a place I've never been. I was on my Onyx uh, maps. Uh, found this place um, No clue what we're gonna run into uh, sprinkling a little rain uh, The weather's not looking too promising um, But we're gonna give it a shot. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys along with me and Hopefully we'll see some critters um, Hopefully we'll get a chance at one. I'm actually packing all the way in so I'm packing in uh, lock on stands sticks camera gear uh, bow and you name it so uh, if any of you guys ever done that before you know that that can be a pretty good challenge in itself uh, to make all that happen so i'm taking off and uh, just stay tuned hopefully we'll get to uh, see some critters here in a little while Hey y'all, uh, so trip number two, uh, you can see trip one into the public land here um, around the house 
um, was just not uh, real successful. And, um, you know, you can see through the footage there that, uh, you know, saw a few deer. Didn't get totally, totally skunked. Um, but no shooters uh, or anything like that. And so um, we're going back at it. Uh, last trip in, uh, we actually um, I got in a stand. Uh, this trip, uh, I'm not going to take a stand with me. I'm actually going to do a little steel hunting, which I generally uh, don't do. Um, but uh, I feel like it's probably going to be best bet. I want to check out some ground back in here, do a little scouting. Uh, so we're just going to slip around. We got the wind in our favor. I'm going to try to keep the wind either blowing at me or a crosswind coming across back in where I'm not really worried about where I don't think the deer are bedding. And uh, we're just going to slip in there this afternoon and see what we can find, see what we can see. And, uh, maybe the good Lord will bless us with, uh, with an opportunity at once. So y'all just hang with us. All right, y'all. The wind's different than I thought. So I'm gonna go a different direction uh, to stay in our good wind.
y'all can't see it but there's a buck standing right down there in that green patch I've got to head that way to get to the truck I'm sure I won't get a shot at him but we're going to slip down there and try All right, y'all. Uh, man, that was a super fun hunt. Uh, back to the truck. It's dark out, so I'm trying to just get some light in here in the truck to kind of give y'all a wrap up of what happened. Uh, so went in the public land here, not far from the house. Um, as you can tell, just did some ground hunting this evening, stalking around, just slipping around and listening and keeping the wind, uh, you know, in, in my face or blowing out away from where I felt like the deer might be coming up out of bed. And sure enough, they came. Uh, you know, we had one slipping down to me. And then you could hear, uh, man, that little buck grunting as he was coming out of the woods. And that was just super cool. He was fired up. And uh, you could hear him grunt pretty hard, almost like had like a little roar to him. And um, so we had a standoff for a little while. And he ended up coming within about 25 yards um, of me. And the wind changed. And so he caught my scent. And so as I was just slipping back out of the truck, uh, to the truck, I got to the top of the one field up there, the food plot. And there stood a big doe and was going to try to get a shot on her uh, we have uh, a lot of people in our area who who would love to have deer meat and so i was definitely going to harvest a doe if i had the opportunity and um, you know just to help those people out who are having a hard time and uh, then she obviously caught me coming up before she saw me before i saw her and then uh, get around towards where i cut down out of the fields to get down to the truck and there stands another young buck and i uh, don't know how good you can see it uh, but man that was just super fun awesome time on the ground uh, one of the funnest hunts i've had in a long time so man just stay with us we're going to keep at it and see if we can't get us one of these public uh, public land deer on the ground before season's over remember faith family fun god bless